We know that the immune system is really important for controlling cancer um, or preventing cancer, but we don't really know much about the exact immune cells that are important in that process. And so the aim of what we wanted to do was to look at which immune cells are critical for controlling cancers, specifically within peripheral tissues such as the skin and in, in the case of our study in the context of melanoma. So to do that, um, we devised a method that allowed us to look at cancer growth specifically within the skin and ask which immune cells were important in controlling the growth of that cancer. We found that a particular type of immune cell called tissue resident memory T cell or TRM cell was critical for controlling cancer growth and that these cells were capable of doing so by suppressing the growth of cancers and holding them in a persistent state without completely eradicating or eliminating the cancer from the body. We devised a novel imaging system that allowed us to look at potential interactions between melanoma cells within the skin and TRM cells that are important for controlling those melanoma cells. And we found that TRM cells could be so effective in initiating and maintaining the control of these cells that it lasted for potentially the life of the mouse. But if you remove these cells, then we could break that control um, and that will cause the cancer to grow out. We used a very highly sophisticated uh, technology based at the University of Melbourne where we could actually conduct, a, part of the study was conducting a live uh, imaging of this process in, in real time. We could watch this unique cell population surveying the cancer and, and keeping it asleep. So our, our study addresses a very, very important clinical problem which is um, cancer persistence. Um, so in many cases the cancer can be easily cut out by surgeons through, through excision but the cancer cells often remain in the body and that can lead to a relapse years or even decades after initial therapeutic intervention. What was unknown so far is the control mechanism that can actually drive, drive the, the tumors into a dormant state. And our study has now shown that, that this dormancy happens uh, very frequently. We know the mechanisms involved in it and we can take advantage of this system to actually work on new therapies to drive cancer persistence into cancer eradication. So with that knowledge, we can actually um, specifically target those tissue resident memory T cells to drive protection from cancer, to drive protection from cancer recurrence. And what we can do with our imaging model now is we can actually test new drugs and, and see whether they can convert this equilibrium state into cancer eradication. So that's going to be a major step forward if, if we achieve this goal because it will address directly the patient's um, biggest nightmare, which is the dormant danger of the cancer.